I wanted to give you an update on my use of the Full Focus Planner. I used it for one quarter from July 1 to September 30th. All the things that I mentioned in the previous video about really liking the ability to set goals and to articulate what your motivations are for taking on those projects or those goals, the rewards that you're gonna give yourself or that are gonna be intrinsic for achieving that goal and what your next steps are, that's very powerful. Being able to have those goals laid out and then focus and reflect on them throughout the quarter helped me move faster toward them. I also really liked the part in here that's your ideal week where it basically lets you sketch out what your ideal week would be like. I enjoyed that a lot and I made that into my online calendar. So I blocked off the time that I was gonna to go to the gym, that I was gonna use for creative writing, that I was going to use for learning Spanish. Some days I did have to make compromises and not do that just because of scheduling issues, but I had it on there every day and so I could try to stick to that ideal. So those things hold true. I also like the idea that you could focus um, each day on a couple of things that you wanted to do. However, let me tell you a couple of things that I didn't like about it. One, the idea that I'm actually going to put down all my tasks here is kind of unrealistic. I use OmniFocus to break down all my projects and I'm probably going to continue to do that. The starting out with the big three, that worked all right, but to do it every single day, um, it didn't always uh, seem like it had as much meaning. Also, this thing is bulky. It's fairly big. You have a big, huge notes page on every single day. Um, and sometimes I just had one or two things that I was writing down. That may be better for people in different industries, people that are managing different types of projects. I'm going on to the Panda Planner. I'm gonna try that out. You should see. I'd be curious to know what your experience is. If you've had a different experience with this planner or if yours has been similar and what you've gone to or how you've modified this to make it work for you. Please leave your comments below and thanks for watching.